For Rodney John, the events on this campus more than 50 years ago have had a lasting impact, despite five university degrees. I feel unfulfilled. I did not do at university what I wanted to do. My life was directed by the arbitrary judgment of a white man. John was one of six black students who accused their professor at Sir George Williams University of racism in 1968. The university's inaction led a large group of students to occupy the school's computer centre. After 13 days, the university called in riot police amid failed negotiations, prompting a violent confrontation and 97 arrests. Students were forced to lay down on broken glass on the floor and were beaten with clubs. The stain of a criminal record was tattooed on their lives. After decades of silence, the university, now called Concordia, is apologizing. We recognize the deep and often dire consequences that the actions of the university had at the time. It's not something that I expected to ever happen. It's very powerful and very meaningful for me. The apology is one of 88 recommendations in a new report from the school's anti-black racism task force. You know, for the university not to address it was a way of, of contributing to the erasure of those experiences. The report also recommends the creation of a black student center, a black studies program and a plan to hire, retain and promote black staff. And are things actually going to be done and addressed? That's the lingering question for student Amaria Phillips, who says the changes promised by the university are needed. They are really um, interested in hearing us out. However, when it comes to the actions, it always feels like it kind of falls um, on the other side and not much things are being done. She hopes this marks a real step forward that lasts. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.